Hello everyone. In this lecture, I'm going to explain the difference between a paneem and a pawn. But if you are new to my channel, then please like and subscribe my channel. Without wasting the time, let's first learn a paneem. It can be defined as a paneem is the smallest unit of a sound in a language that can change the meaning of a word. It is an abstract representation of a sound that distinguishes one word from another within a particular language. What does it mean by this definition? Simply, it means that a paneem refers to a smallest unit of a sound which changes the meaning of a word. Actually, you should keep in mind that it is an abstract in nature. What? It is, you know, basically a paneem is abstract in nature. Simply, it means that a paneem exists in the mind of a speaker is a category that includes all possible variation of that sound. And you might have heard about a morpheme. Is a morpheme is an abstract and morph is a physical realization of it. So paneem is also abstract and pawn is its physical realization. I think still you are not getting the point. Let me tell you the characteristics of a paneem, then you will be able to understand it. The first point is abstract representation. This is the main point which you can keep inside your mind and avoid your headache. Basically, a paneem is an idea or category of sounds rather than a specific sound. In other words, you can say a paneem is considered abstract because it represents a mental concept of a sound rather than a specific sound itself. So it is abstract in nature and not a concrete form. The next point is contrastive role. This is another important point that panemes function to distinguish words from each other. Changing one paneem in a word can result in a different word with a different meaning. Simply, uh, when a paneem is changed in a word, it will change the meaning of a word. For, for instance, in English, the word bat and pet differ by one paneem, that is ba and pa. And the next point is represented with slashes. This is also one of the important points that panemes are typically written between forward slashes to distinguish them from the actual sounds themselves. I think you are not getting the point. Just look at these examples. Observe the word pin. Here the word pa is a paneem. Actually, if you replace this paneem with ba, so it becomes bin. And then you can see the meaning is also changed. Look at another word, pet. Here in this word, pa is a paneem. And if we replace it with the paneem ba, it becomes bat. So you can see it has changed the word meaning. So this is simply called a paneem in linguistics. As you have understood, a paneem, it is the time to understand a pawn. And a pawn can be defined as a pawn represents the physical sound is produced and heard without consideration of its function in a language. What does it mean? Simply, it means that a pawn refers to the physical sound which you hear and utter. Basically, pawns are concrete and measurable sounds in the physical sense. It means is we have said that a paneem is abstract in nature and pawn is physical in nature. Simply you can say pawns are concrete sounds while paneems are abstract categories that serve a functional role in distinguishing meaning in a language. I think you are not getting the point. Let me tell you some of the characteristics of a pawn then you will understand it. The first point is Concrete. This is the main point which can make you able to understand the nuance difference between a pawn and a phoneme. By concrete means that pawns are actual speech sounds as they are physically produced and perceived. Simply, 
is you produce a sound which can be heard is called a pawn. And the next point is universal in nature. This is another important point that pawns are not restricted to a specific language. They are measurable and describable independently. Simply, it means that pawns are concrete speech sounds that can be described in terms of their articulatory and acoustic properties, such as tongue position, airflow, and frequency, etc. These properties can be measured and analyzed regardless of the language being spoken. Represented by brackets. This is also one of the main points that Pawns are represented through square brackets. As you know, panims are represented through slashes. So this is also one of the main characteristics of a pawn that it is represented by brackets. I hope you have enjoyed this lecture, but please don't forget like and subscription to my channel. Thank you.